Um, I, I actually showed some of the 3D stuff I got to Ian Bell and we talked about it. Because uh, I was worried actually at that time. Bizarrely, games felt very... Um, I was, and I think we both were, quite tired of games at the time. In other, other words, I mean, it sounds silly because you think that's right at the beginning, but games had, had reached a bit of a... Um, I found them a bit boring, I suppose, that every game seemed to get a life at 10,000, seemed to involve you shooting various shaped blobs in some way, often with some slight twist like Galaxian, they move a bit and they swoop, you know, but, but basically they were very, very similar. Elite evolved into something that was very, very different to what was out there. You know, the idea of saving your position, the idea of, of uh, trading, which at first seemed a bit of an anathema. You know, well, that sounds a bit dull. He said, no, no, it makes you care. Ironically, the title The Elite, which was what the original title was, um, came along, I mean, I think we're now talking late 1982. So we hadn't been at university all that long when we were talking about it. Um, and it seemed like a very arrogant title, but the idea that you were a sort of supreme pilot in amongst, you know, why, why are you able to kill everyone, they're not able to kill you? So it's, you know, it's that, that, that sort of logic. So we thought, oh, maybe there's a secret society of pilots or group. And, and so that's where the, where the name came from, and it sort of stuck. I had written software on my Oak Atom after I'd had the disappointment of not being able to write software commercially um, that essentially meant I could run, I suppose you might call it today, an emulator, that I could run um, BBC software on my Oakland Atom by just changing the way the calls worked and also by um, writing my own what you know screen driver primitives and so was able to write code that would transfer directly to a BBC micro and Ian already had one so we put together the first stages of a game and showed it to both well, initially bizarrely to Thorn EMI because I still had contacts there and I thought you know you how are you interested in publishing the game that that 3D that you were interested in has now become? <laughs>